It is the most aggressive move yet against flavored tobacco products. As Nightbeat's Maria Medina reports, some Bay Area lawmakers are trying to ban them statewide. A group of California lawmakers is proposing to ban store sales of flavored e-cigarettes and tobacco. They say the number of kids picking up the habit is alarming. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a cool thing to do. Ginger Watts picked up her first cigarette at 15 and immediately became hooked. And um, my father had smoked, and I always enjoyed the smell of the smoke, so that's how I started. Back then, the only flavored tobacco was menthol, and that's what Ginger smoked. And I really enjoyed that flavor. Today, flavored tobacco products come in a wide variety, from cotton candy to cinnamon roll. I believe it's absolutely targeted marketing for young people. And now six state legislatures led by Senator Jerry Hill are proposing a statewide law to ban store and vending machine sales of flavored e-cigarettes and tobacco. We've seen an unprecedented uh, epidemic proportion and increase in smoking of e-cigarettes and, uh, and tobacco products of uh, high school students and uh, middle school students. This past summer, San Francisco approved a measure to ban flavored tobacco products. Last month, Fremont School District leaders held a meeting with parents about the growing problem of vaping in schools and urged lawmakers to protect youth from nicotine. Oh, I agree. I think that you know, kids are definitely attracted to the flavors. Ginger says she now worries about osteoporosis as a side effect of smoking for years. She's now tobacco free. She was able to quit after 15 years. And she agrees with Senator Hill's proposal, who had this final message to those selling flavored tobacco. Well, they ought to be ashamed of themselves if what they're doing is trying to addict the next generation of Californians or Americans for that matter, they should be ashamed of themselves. And we called dozens of smoke shops to get their opinion. No one wanted to go on camera, but one shop owner did say kids would just go online to buy tobacco products. If Senator Hill's bill does pass, it would still allow online telephone and mail sales, but buyers would have to verify they're 21 or older. On the Night Beat, I'm Maria Medina.